Hey guys, what's up? This is Jay Hoosier, and we are back with another um, thing, uh, Star Catalog episode, I guess, is what we're calling it uh, this time. So I have made some updates to the Empyrean Galactic Survival Star Catalog, and I think I'm ready to release uh, version 2.0. So as you can see here, we have a fancy new... Um, new welcome screen so you can come here to find out uh over here we have the acknowledgements um we have kind of a description here the other useful spreadsheets i want to highlight um the reforge sheet and trader spreadsheet because uh by stan because that has been invaluable to what um i've been making and i can't imagine how much time it would have taken to extract and collate the the trader information um otherwise so hmm, excuse me so to show you guys what this is the star catalog uh has three major features so the first two are sheets that you can see here uh they are the poi finder and the commodity finder so poi finder lets you find um any poi that you have encountered that you have basically scanned um you know you 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 scan your detector or your long range radar or whatever and it uh comes up on the map it will find that and then the and it will tell you um well let's see uh so it will tell you you search for a poi that you want to find so say you have a bunch of toxic waste you've been carrying around and you think wow self i need to get some get rid of this toxic waste so the waste treatment plant um is what uh, will take that from you. So you just uh, enter that in here. Um, let's go ahead and uh, let's try this out. So let's get um, waste treatment plant. So you can see here there's different things. Waste treatment plant, and it will bring it up. Now, first, we don't want to go to the Xerox. Uh, we don't like them. So we will uh, we will look for this Polaris one. Well, no, it's 135 light years. That's a bit beyond our thing. Oh, look, we are not in the BFA system. Um, if you've been watching, we are in the Halu 9 Alpha. Well, we sort of were. Um, going by what's going on in the background, it's not quite the same. So uh, there's a lot of waste treatment plants here run by the Xerox. But, you know, uh, over here, there is a Polaris run um, one. Don't know what happened to these e types something's up with this this is going to be something i have to kind of work on uh it's kind of got borked up um anyway hmm, excuse me so you can search for the uh py you'd like to find the system put the system that you're in and uh if you're looking for something a little different you can put other things in say you want to find one of those alien whatevers or an abandoned you have an abandoned all the things that you might want to want to look at so you can find these different things um the abandoned bunker hmm, we can see that's the one we just took out in the last uh episode um but there are other ones around even on that same planet what do we see Helen alpha or mix no light years away uh we have other ones down here all the way down to delta we can go 654 light years back to the uh starting system so uh, in addition, you can also find what the traders are there. Um, so let's have a look at some of these. Trade Station Lambda, very popular, very common Polaris um, trade station. So we can see it has this list of traders, probably. I'm not entirely sure how it all works. I think there's also an, an issue with like duplicate names and things like that so it might be a bit fiddly but you'll figure it out so what you can do is you can come over here we have selling unlocks and buying so you can click on each of these and find out what these sellers are selling so oops um yep let's escape there so if we look at Andrew Medical, they are uh, selling these things, and we see the the uh, commodity as well as the multiplier range and quantity. And here we have buying. You can they will buy these things. 
and unlock unlocks are ones that are a little difficult uh i haven't quite gotten them working for like the extra missions but they are there um something like uh chemic industrial for example they will have unlocks so you need one of these things to sell to them um to bring to them first and they'll give you a reward and unlock the trader for you uh, without these, they will not sell you any of this or buy any of this. So you need to do this first. And then you can run a bunch of them. Uh, if you're used to Reforged Eden, you know that you they will um, they'll buy like I think five or six of rounds of some of these randomly. So yeah, so that's that. Um, hmm. And you can see it has over here, it'll say the POI, which faction the type, the system it's located in, the play field, and how far away it is. Okay? All right. Um, now, the commodity finder is a little uh, different. So here, you can enter in one of the commodities. So let's say we want to get rid of some optical fiber. You just type in optical fiber. Do -do, it tells you. So it tells you what traders have it. The... Uh, multiplier and the quantity so you can see like uh, agrinet wait a second now it sometimes excuse me sometimes it takes a little bit of time to get through um you can see servant court micro mechanical they'll give you 0.5 to 0.75 uh percent of the the selling price of the market price but they'll buy this much of it um get to a factory advance though so, you can get a whole 1.1 to 1.3 of that optical fiber goodness uh, but in a smaller quantity. And it tells you the POI is an advanced factory owned by the Polaris, and uh, it is in the system that we are currently in. So it, here you can see the current system, but you cannot change it here. You must go back here to change the um, current system. I'm sorry. It's a, it's a limitation to Google Sheets, so I can't tell you. Um, why or I, I i can't fix it anyway um the other nice thing is uh over here so you can see here if just a general uh what you would want to be looking for so if you want to find the highest uh multiplier or whatnot so if we want to find for example coolant now this is assuming you want to sell coolant to people um these places will buy coolant but if you want to buy it you just select Bye. Oops. Uh, that took a bit of time. Hang on. It's thinking. You can see up here. Uh, it is not as fast as it used to be. Um, it's it's quite slow nowadays. So. Oh, man. It's sometimes it's a bit fiddly, too. Jeez. I'm going to fix it. No. All right, let's let it, uh, we'll let it go through again. Unfortunately, um, sometimes it takes time to filter through, and sometimes it does not uh, filter through properly. So, yeah, there we go. All right, let's try this again. Um, coolant. So this is just a, a limitation that we have of the Google Sheets. And it will largely work. Um, geez, what's going on here? Uh, I actually don't know why the thermal interaction isn't coming up. That's weird. It should. If they're selling it. Uh, that's odd. I'll have to look into that. Anyway. Um, yeah. So those are the commodity finder, POI finder, well, and the welcome. So um, we have the POI finder here, feature, commodity finder, and the current system. Uh, so known bugs, um, there are some things you can read here. Sometimes you get stuck or trouble dealing with things. Um, so if you're missing the import logs menu up here, which I'll talk about later, uh, when you copy the spreadsheet, which is absolutely the first thing you should do when you go here, uh, you should co make a copy for yourself and save it. So you sh you will um, 
also be prompted to give a permission to an app script. And I'll leave it up to you if that's something you want to do. Um, you don't have to, but it won't work otherwise, <laughs> basically. Um, we'll go over that in a bit. Um, yeah. So let's see how to set up the star catalog. Uh, we have six steps here. One, two, three, four. Oh, no, sorry. Four steps. <laughs> Uh, there are not six steps. There used to be six steps when it's a lot longer. Uh, there are four steps currently, and it's a lot easier. So before you had to use a DB browser sort of, um, database software to export the, uh, queries, but you do not need that now. What you need, uh, first is you need to make a copy of the document. Go to file, make a copy. You see up here, make a copy. Boom. Get your copy. Put it in your uh, my drive or wherever you want to put it. Hmm. The next step, you need to get the Star Catalog exporter, and uh, you can click on the link here, okay? And that will take you to this page. All right. Which the only thing you need is this .exe file. Now I know people are wary about um, downloading strange .exe files, uh, executable files. I would be too. So you are more than welcome to I believe here. You're more than welcome to look at the basic, um, the, the, the file, uh, the, sorry, I don't know how to say it. The, um, the source code, if you would like, and hmm, you're, you're, you can look at this and I actually provide, uh, down below here, um, we have the, the different pieces of information here. So um, the export logs.exd file. So it goes through, explains the three different uh, queries that are run. So one for star log CSV, one for POI log CSV, and one for playfield log CSV. So these are the queries that are run, and this is the entirety of the script. Um, this script was written using Python, and it was not written by me. I asked... Uh, chat GPT to do it for me. And that was an exercise in frustration and learning how to word things precisely. So you um, are welcome to download the .exe file if you would like. You also may um, compile it yourself and or you could just completely redo it yourself, install Python, you know, uh, create the .py file and um, do that. You can just copy and paste this this tech, this tech uh, code here, and that, that should work. So I do not blame you for being distrustful, and it would, uh, I would be the same way. All right, uh, on to the next step, how to get going. Uh, once you have the .exe file, you should place it in a convenient directory um, you need to run it each time you want to update the catalog, but it is pretty easy. Once you've gone to the correct d folder, it will continue to open up that folder uh, each time you run it. So that's that's great. So let's see how this all works. Uh, let me get up. Let me get up our... Is it? Oof. There we go. Um, here is our uh, exe file, export logs.exe. So we'll run it. And you can see over here, um, because I've run this before, it uh, tells you up here, please locate the save game folder for your current game and select the file global.db. So we're in Imperian, uh, so Steam Library, Apps, Common, EGS, Imperian Galactic Survival, Saves, Games. And my save game is called Let's Play Ray 1. So, all we do is uh, select the global.gp, a uh, global.dp file, and it gives us a pop-up saying export successful. Now import these to your star catalog. So we have Playfield, POI, and Starlog there. Okay. Alrighty. Now let's go back to our Google uh, Sheets. So, um. This should work. Oh my goodness, I've got my fingers and toes all crossed. Uh, here is the information. It shouldn't really change. So let's go ahead and delete some of this. Um, 
just delete this for for reference okay it is going to take a moment there we go and we'll just do that all right so what you do is you uh, select import logs it runs the script and then it gives you a pop-up saying uh, asking you to choose some files so go ahead and open it and again um this is i've already uh imported the csv files so i don't actually need to go navigate so it's quite simple you kind of run the executable then you run the import logs and it should have to update everything just fine so uh although this is the second or third time i've recorded this and because there was some mix up in the the, the script the, the script coding so anyway uh playfield poi star logs you can just select these three that's what it needs and it will spend some time um uploading that You can see, there it goes. So it should overwrite the data that is already in this. Um, if you want to feel better about it, go ahead and... Um, let's go ahead and wait. Um, go ahead and delete the information ahead of time. As you wish. Okay. Oh man, I hope it worked. Let's go. Let's see if we got there. Uh it's easy waiting. Alright, let's uh let's reload the page. So once you get large enough, it starts to get a bit slow and fiddly. Um it will work, but it does take time. Um Good job. Probably because I have OBS running at the same time. Oh man, there we go. Did it work? Uh, yeah, we're at 105. We got the play fields up. Maybe. And we got the play field. The. POI is going. Um, okay, so our faction and E type did not work, get run. All right, let's try again. We need to. So if you have a problem with, oh nope 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 nope. There we go. It was just taking its time. So one thing I've done is to uh, set it so that the faction is a little more clear. Um, these are, you know, public Xerox, whatever. Uh, the E-type changes to POI, SV, HV, Asteroid, CV, just so you know uh, what it is at a glance in the POI finder. Um, unfortunately, that does add up to the to things being a little slower. Um, these are color-coded, and I probably need to change them over to the uh, commodity finder uh, one as well for the faction, and I'll see about doing that afterwards. But let's get this show over soon okay um yeah so that is the steps that you need to do for um importing these okay so that's the distance current system and changing faction and type that's what really takes time uh for some reason it has to copy these formulas into and replace kind of replace the information that's already in the the um in the in the google sheets okay so uh it says here yeah you're all set you need to run steps three and four every time you want to update so you have to export the log and import the logs to the star catalog all right that is it uh our app script is here you can see how this is all run i have no idea if this is the most efficient way to do it but it just it's what uh chat gpt recommended and so it works so you would need to make if you want to make this yourself, you would need to make one file code.js, which I think if you go to app script is the default um, thing. So you could just copy and paste this uh, code into that place. 
then you need to create a new one called upload.html and place this text, uh, this code into that file. And you should be able to compile it yourself, or, or sorry, uh, save it yourself and run it. And just make sure you have the permission set. If you do try to just, if you do want to use my version, um, just make sure that you uh, copy it over when you make your own copy of this. All right, uh, so just a little bit more. Um, these are the star log play field log POI find, uh, POI log. There are a number of hidden sheets, uh, including trader data, which is uh, st stands uh, RE traders. Um, I've also got like uh, the location, sell, unlock, buy. Uh, I've got the factions things. POI log two can probably be deleted, but I don't want to delete it quite yet. And we have the data page for the community finder and POI finder uh, stuff. So that should be it. So I've already found it very useful, um, especially POI finder. I haven't really, I just created this uh, in the last day or so. So I haven't really used the commodity finder, but it does look rather useful. So. I'll leave the data uh, from my game um, in here, so you are welcome to have a look at it and see how it works uh, if you want to try it out. Yeah, so that's it. I hope it is um, useful for you. Uh, if you enjoy it, please let me know. Leave a like or leave a upvote on whatever send me a send me a message or however you would like to do so um again i want to go through the acknowledgments um thank you so much to friend of the channel tkc who's been a, a long time supporter of um my i guess this is still a hobby technically so he's been a long time supporter of my uh hobby to uh just make videos and he's also been a um big supporter of pushing me to automate the star catalog and to create it and to make it look a little nicer um i'd also like to thank redditor bleo who um gave me some uh database queries to get started and uh i don't know how much he wants me to broadcast it but he has been playing with his own version of a captain's log sort of a standalone app that would probably make mine look like a spreadsheet. <laughs> um, I'd also like to thank Stanley he, like, for a third or fourth time. Uh, the RE Traders spreadsheet uh, underpins all of the trade information. And if he if he updates it when like our Reforged Union 2 comes out or something, it will certainly break the star catalog and we'll have to figure something out, I'm sure. Um, also, thank you to Google Sheets subreddit for help with formulas and uh, Stack Overflow and also Chat GPT because I would ask it to write it basically wrote the um, export logs code and the um, that sort of thing and told me how to do stuff in Python I have no idea about programming really so uh, yeah welcome to AI I guess uh, if you have any questions, um, I'm going to post this video and probably some information over on Reddit. Um, if you have any questions, please ask me over there. Um, feel free to ask me in the comments here. I'm also working on a Discord channel for myself, and I will open that up hopefully within the next week. Uh, hopefully before the, the whole Reddit goes dark over the API, third-party API thing that is going on from the 12th. I think there's going to be a big drop in people using Reddit there, so... Um, I want to get this video out, so even if things are a bit fiddly with uh, some stuff, uh, looking at you, community commodity finder, um, I will hopefully be able to get it going. Anyway, uh, that's it. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.